Hey everybody, welcome to the Bacology YouTube channel. Here at Bacology, we don't just love our chickens, we love being as self-sufficient as possible in our day-to-day -day lives. That's why we love our Harvest Right freeze dry machine. We can make ourselves quick cooking meals from whole ingredients with no preservatives, not only for food storage, but for everyday life as well. We will be sharing the recipes we use to create ourselves healthy meals from our freeze dried ingredients, so hit the subscribe button to be notified when new videos are posted. Welcome to the second video in our Smoky Mexican Black Bean video series. We are going to use our freeze dried ingredients to create four different meals inspired by real recipes. Mexican black bean casserole, black bean tostada, southwest black bean tacos, and black bean sweet potato chili. Remember these recipes are for single serving size meals. You can double and triple them. Just be aware that you may need to adjust the water needed for reconstitution. Please note, as we go through these recipes, all ingredients will be freeze dried unless otherwise noted. For all of these recipes, you can reconstitute them based on how you use them. At home, the office, hotel, or the dorm, use boiling water and your microwave. I recommend using boiling water to rehydrate, allowing to sit, then microwaving to rewarm. You can use cold water and then throw it in the microwave, but you're still going to have to let it sit to fully reconstitute. Are you backpacking? Boil the water on your portable stove and then add your ingredients. Just watch your water carefully as it may evaporate fast. Headed to a job site? Heat your thermos, then add boiling water and your bean mix. Stir and put the lid on. By lunchtime, it'll be ready. These meals can be stored in mylar bags with air absorbers or in ball jars. The meals with the avocado may not be appropriate for long-term storage. I would use them within a year or so due to the fat content in the avocado. The freeze-dried ingredients you will need to create today's recipes are smoky Mexican black beans, recipe was in video one, brown rice, sweet potatoes, corn, diced tomatoes, red and green bell pepper mix, onion and garlic mix, salsa, avocado, boiling water. You will also need cumin, garlic powder, smoked paprika, chili powder, and salt. If you have sour cream powder or cheese powder that you have previously freeze dried, you can add that uh, to your ingredients as well. The non freeze dried ingredients you will need are taco shells, tostada shells, and optional shredded lettuce and shredded cheese. Let's get started on our first recipe. Mexican black bean casserole. For this recipe, you're gonna need one half cup of beans, one half cup of rice, two tablespoons of corn, two tablespoons of the pepper mixture, two teaspoons of the onion garlic mixture, one quarter teaspoon of cumin, one quarter teaspoon of chili powder, and one quarter teaspoon of salt. If you have it and want to use it, you can add one tablespoon of sour cream powder and one tablespoon of cheese powder. Mix this all into a bowl and then add one cup of boiling water. You're going to want to stir and then let that sit for about 10 minutes. For best results, microwave for about a minute and then stir before serving. This particular recipe gets better the longer it sits. I ate it as leftovers the next day and it was amazing. Next time, I'm going to use it as a burrito filling. The next recipe we're going to make is black bean tostadas. This recipe may look a little plain, but trust me, all of your favorite tostada ingredients are all rolled into one, making this a tasty and easy meal to make. You can add fresh shredded cheese and lettuce if you want, but I didn't think it needed it. You're going to start with one third cup beans, put those in a bowl, then I want you to take a fork and mash those. You can leave chunks, that's fine, but you should have more mash than chunks. To this, you're going to add one tablespoon of diced tomatoes, half a tablespoon of your onion garlic mix, a pinch of cumin, a pinch of chili powder, and a pinch of salt. If you have it, you can add half a tablespoon sour cream powder and half a tablespoon of cheese powder. 
To this, you're going to add one third of a cup of boiling water and stir. Since our beans are mashed, they're gonna thicken up really quickly. Um, you may need to add additional boiling water, one teaspoon at a time to loosen those up. Once you have them to the right consistency, set those aside and for about five minutes while you reconstitute the salsa and avocado. In a small bowl, add two tablespoons of avocado with one tablespoon of water and stir. You can also add one tablespoon of salsa to one teaspoon of water and stir. It's time to build your tostadas. You may need to microwave your bean mixture again to warm it, but then you're gonna divide it between your two tostada shells, then divide your avocado and salsa between the two, and they're ready to eat. You can add fresh cheese and lettuce if you want to, but I found these are perfect even without. Let's look at the Southwest black bean tacos. This filling has so many ingredients, it doesn't need any more toppings, but you can always add fresh cheese and lettuce if you want. For this recipe, you're gonna need two thirds a cup of beans, one third of a cup of red and green pepper mix, one quarter cup of corn, one quarter cup of onion and garlic mix, one quarter cup diced tomatoes, and one tablespoon of the avocado. To this, you're gonna add three quarters of a cup of boiling water. You're gonna stir and then let that sit about 10 minutes. You will probably need to microwave this to reheat it before serving. This filling is enough to overfill two taco shells or make three tacos if you wanna use lettuce and cheese. You could also eat this as a dip with chips. The last recipe in this video series is black bean sweet potato chili. For this recipe, you're gonna need one half cup of black beans plus one quarter cup of black beans, two tablespoons of the onion garlic mixture, half a cup of sweet potatoes, one quarter cup of tomatoes, one quarter cup of the pepper mix, one quarter teaspoon of chili powder, one quarter teaspoon of cumin, one quarter teaspoon of paprika, and one twist of salt. To prepare these ingredients, you're going to take a fork and mash the one quarter cup of black beans and then add that back into the half cup of black beans. This just helps us have a thicker chili. You also want to cut the sweet potatoes down to smaller sizes. I cut mine in four to five small pieces per large piece. To this mixture, you're gonna add one and a half cups of boiling water, stir well, and then let it sit about 10 minutes. This chili is amazing. I was a little nervous about getting the consistency right on this one, but adding those mashed beans in really nailed it. You're gonna really enjoy this one. I wanna thank you for joining us today for these recipes. I hope you enjoy your black bean meals. Please check out our other recipe videos and be sure to click the follow button to be notified when new recipes are released. Want to discuss recipes or ask questions? Join us on the Bacology Facebook page. I'll add a link below in the description.